Hey you guys, before we get into today's video, this is a spoiler heavy review for Spider-Man 2018. If you have not yet played the game and don't want spoilers, turn back now. Also, this video is filled with opinions. By speaking my mind, I am not attacking someone's favorite game. So keep that in mind and enjoy the video. With great power comes great responsibility. This phrase alone would shape how a generation would watch movies, talk with their friends, even base their morals upon. Spider-Man is a third-person action-adventure game released in 2018 and revitalized a franchise that had already secured its immortality. This game not only hones in on great traversal mechanics, but doesn't focus on Spider-Man's origins, yet instead expands on his world as an adult, creating a slow burn story with characters from the comics that we all know and love. What's going on, you guys? It's your Huggable Hip here and welcome back to the reviews. Today I'm going to be diving into the 2018 title Spider-Man. This game was so interesting to go through and it made kind of my childhood dreams come true. And not too many people know this, but my favorite superhero is Spider-Man. And it all started back, I think it was 2002, the movie with Tobey Maguire came out. That's where my love for Spider-Man all started. This game by far has the best traversal system of the PS4 generation. There, I said it, we can all stop arguing now. It's quick, it's seamless, no bugs, and creates a fun way to go from building to building without feeling like you're trapped in one area of the map. My childlike happiness expelled from my body as I swung from each high-rise tower in midtown Manhattan. Spider-Man was my favorite hero growing up, so playing this game was an adventure and something the child in me was smiling at from ear to ear. The story in this game starts off strong, but then slows down to almost a screeching halt. It was strange because the game had such a powerful opener. I was picturing the same energy being carried forward. Now, I don't mind a slow burn game at all, okay? You guys know how I feel about Alien Isolation. That is slow burn to the simplest, most pure sense that carries a story in such a strong way. But when it becomes boring for the next five to seven chapters, I mind just a little bit. It started to pick back up in chapter 10, then continued to make me as emotional as humanly possible. As if I couldn't have gotten any more emotional seeing Stan Lee in the game. Rest in peace to a man who created a one-of-a-kind world. The dialogue, however, did not have any slow period whatsoever. Peter Parker was just as funny as ever, MJ was just as stubborn, and Miles was sweet and empathetic. The characters in their dialogue aren't just taken out of the comics. They were woven around the world of the comics, the movies that came before them, creating a new seamless entry into the Spider-Verse. And I think it's really interesting how when we take something that is is superhero related or we take something that has already such vibrancy behind it and we try to you know spice it up a little bit it can go either really really bad or really really good there really is no in between with it i know some people might disagree with me but that's just that's just how i've noticed things ac across the uh, the span of especially superhero comics being adapted into video games with this it went really well and i was so surprised because spider-man being one of my favorite heroes stories, I was so afraid that they were going to botch this up. But the voice acting, the way that everything was done, it was done, I could tell, with such care. When I got to a certain point early on, I already knew that Martin was the bad guy. Just by the way he reacted to the mask, even in the late game, I knew that there was no way Octavius didn't know that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. Even with Miles getting bit, since there is a Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and MJ brings back to Feast a spider, it's obvious the story setup that's happening here. While this game may have been very predictable, it was still fun to navigate the world of Spider-Man as three different characters. For most of the game, you're playing as Spider-Man, but for different parts, you will play as either MJ or Miles. Insomnia created a world for us to become Spider-Man, for us to fly, have fun, beat up bad guys, and get lost in witty, playful, and sometimes sardonic humor. With stealth scenarios, a photo mode that I got lost in time and time again, Spider-Man showed a lot of us, whether we grew with the series or only just got into it, that no matter who we are, we can be a hero. But you guys, that was my review on the 2018 game Spider-Man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos every day here on YouTube. May you find your worth in the waking world, your hunter. Stay casually nerdy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Umbasa.